Hey guys, it's Minecraft Matt here, and today I'm showing you how to install, download, or download, and install, and, and use Minecraft Mania for 1.4.7 Minecraft multiplayer. Okay, so, I'm going to go through the, some of the basics of the blocks on Minecraft Mania. The first one is the Obsidian block. The Obsidian block, well, what you want to do is, first of all, uh, if you've got a rail, a track rail, like so, and you've got a unpowered power rail here. This would usually stop the minecart, but it works the opposite way, so now it boosts the minecart. But now, if you have it against the wall, like so, have a button there, and then have a one like this, and you put it on there, it won't go. You have to press the button for that. So let's get in and put it on. So we'll power this, so we get in the button and it doesn't work for some reason but anyway that's how it works it works the opposite so let's get to the blocks so the obsidian block um, if you're on a track and it's about here obsidian block there let's just get the obsidian block and it's there and you have a track here and you get in your minecart and you go it will stop the minecart and yeah, it will stop the minecart. So that's a good block for if you're in a train station and you want your minecart to stop. Put the block on the rail there and it will stop it. But if you want it to go, just get, get this round here. And just link it up to the obsidian block. Like so. Pull that up. So if you want to get in, get the minecart there, get in the minecart, press the button, it will take you off. And then here, and if you just power this, so if you get out of the minecart, just pull up there and get a torch. So you get in your minecart, press the button, off you go. Stop here and press something so you can go. Put that there and it'll make it go. So that's basically a boost rail also. Okay, so the next one is this, and um, if you're going in one direction, like so, you've got a thing here, you get in it, go, this will, hang on, get in my car, oops, let's power this up. So there we go. So there we go. Now if you put your normal rail on top, put your minecart there, get in it, press the button and go. And this will make you in the opposite direction. So now we're in, in the wall. <laughs> yeah. So that that just attracts the things. So if you get if you have one here also, get the wall and just put it there. And put a truck over it. Get your minecart. Oops. And let's push it along. They are all retract constantly. This way you can put like a, the a um what uh, detector rail in the middle and it will just use it as a clock. So it's impulses. And look, you can also get a power rail so it goes faster. And the next block, let's go to that. Is this block? I'm not going to show you. I'm going to show you first. So if you have an obsidian block here again, and just get the normal rail there, and then power it. Let's take away this block for now, like so. So if you get put the minecart there, and then power it. Okay, let's just power like this. Um, yeah, anyway, if it just goes, it'll jump you straight into it, so it'll catch you and you'll go straight into the. So, if it's like if you're uh, press a button 
it'll make a minecart come and you don't have to get in the minecart, it'll just drip you straight into the minecart. So the next one oh. is the iron block. So if we get a piece of redstone so let's down here and torch like so. Put a minecart down. Right up there. Minecart down, get in the minecart and then put a torch down. If we can. Anyway, it should be going. I don't know why that's not working. But it'll make you go and what it does is you get in it and it ejects you out straight away. So this is called the ejector block, and you can place a sign anywhere, but it has to be 8 blocks from here, it can't be longer than 8 blocks. So I'll make it here, and you just do colon, eject, here, and then another one of them. So there we go, and then if we, get in the, if we do it again now, and get in it, it will eject us to the sign. So you can have like a wall here, a truck, and like a tunnel, and then outside of the station. I'm going to jack you right there. That's that one. And this one is a, do you know the pad dispensers. Basically, if you got that, it'll oh, if you got that, it'll import a minecart. Anyway, Let's just put a chest back there. So my cards in it. There we go. So that mine cart. So what it does if you get a mine cart, place it down and push, it'll go into the chest. And then if you um are like over here, let's get that down there. If you're over here and you press the button, the mine cart will come out the chest because you're powering it. Let's see the power going to the chest. If you power the chest, that minecart will come out. So you can do it like this way as well. Go that way. And if you get this place up there, it will open, get the minecart out of the thing. So it's basically it has Spencer. But if you want it, because as you can see, when it comes out, it just stops. It doesn't move. But if you want it to go and come to your destination, make sure you put a redstone torch underneath. The obsidian block so it powers it and just put a normal rail on top and then you can go over here to your destination where you want it to come press the button and it will come to you but obviously that will be on a track where it stops with the obsidian block also so this is just the basics of um, minecart mania the download will be in the description and and then this is the next episode of minecart mania part 2 will be about the signs so you can have command blocks command signs undo underneath it and oh yeah I forgot about one more block Hold on. I forgot about the destination block so if you get a brick block brick there's a brick search brick get a brick like so place it down and you have all the destinations so you can have like, it's a, basically this is a station block. So you have rails going up to it. Oops, sorry, it's the wrong one. So you have rails coming up to it, and then you have rail there, rail there, rail there. Hang on. Rail there, rail there. So now you can choose which destination you go to. So if you get in the cart, push it, get in, and then it'll tap in your that destination where you want to go. If you tap forward, you go forward, left, and right. So I'm going to go right, so I'm going to tap right, and there we go. So this can be used as a station block, and if we can be, we can be four directions, four destinations. So yeah, thanks for watching guys, please comment, rate, subscribe, and I hope you found this tutorial helpful, and um, I will show you the installation part now. Bye. Okay, so now we are on the installation part of our, of our tutorial. What I'm going to do, first of all, is go to, into the description, and download minecart mania it'll be in a bucket link and so you'll go onto bucket.org and you'll download it straight off there so once you've got it here and you know uh, just drag it to your desktop or wherever you want to put it and open up your server if you have a bucket server so then just go into your plugin directory and all you do is just drag the plugin 
into here and then you want to run your server so run there we go so if you go back into plugins it will create a minecart media folder this folder will have the config and all sorts so in the config it has all the blocks types so timers and all that stuff I'm not going to go into that because it's too complete at the moment this will be in, probably in a new episode so here you go, so gold block is the speed and light and so it's all here it will tell you what all the blocks are and what they all do okay so thanks for watching please comment, rate and subscribe and I hope you found this tutorial helpful see you guys later, bye